Out of the 48 projects I started in 2023, both knit and crochet, I completed 45 of them. All right, so I like to keep track of my projects in my cute little notebook here. I don't like using Ravelry for that. Uh, I much prefer <laughs> pen and paper. Um, so this, this bit right here that I'm holding is one page for every single project. As you can see, I have that much remaining. Um, yeah, so I started 48, completed 45, and I'm just realizing there's a few I didn't write down, <laughs> but they were small and it's fine. Anyway, so we are going to go in order of when I wrote them down, regardless of when I finished them. Um, this pretty notebook is from Rifle Paper Company, and when I fill these last pages, I'm going to get another one because I love it. I love having a physical copy of what I made. Um, so first up is knit. I didn't count how many were knit and how many were crochet. That's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So this first one I no longer have. Um, this is the Champagne Cowl from Expression Fiber Arts. I believe I used the uh, recommended yarn for it. Um, I used the North DK in a color that is no longer available. Um, but it's a pretty cowl. It's um, You change your knits and pearls so that way it looks like it's got triangles. Um, since I no longer have it, can't show it to you, but I believe I took a picture of it. If I did, here's a picture of the thing. Um, if I didn't, Here's the picture of the sample from the pattern. Um, you're gonna probably see that a lot. Anyway, I started this January 1st, 2023, finished it on January 14th. I timed this one so I could see how long it took me. Um, took me a total of 10 hours and 26 minutes. Um, I did not do the full width of 17 inches. I stopped at 14 because I thought it was wide enough for it. Um, and I loved it. it was, um, this yarn is merino wool and Pima cotton, so it's really super warm. My mom came to visit and she loved it, so I gave it to my mom. Um, there's another one here that I did that to. So, love this cowl. Beautiful. I would definitely make it again. All right, turn the page. Next project. This is crochet. Um, it was a corner-to-corner -corner pattern from uh, Repeat Crafter Me. This is for, or was for, Valentine's Day. So, let me get that for you. All right, so this is a cute little table runner. Um, it's a series of hearts. I started this January 10th, finished it on the 15th. I did time this one as well. This took me a total of seven hours and 30 minutes. Um, I did not do the frilled scalloped edge around the side and I did not do the tassels on the ends, on the end points because I didn't want to. <laughs> um, I used what I had, did I have? Yeah, I already had this in my stash. I used Lion Brand Pound of Love in the cherry color for the red. Um, Karen Simply Soft for the pink in soft pink and then Lion Brand Pound of Love for the white and this is our cute little table runner. Now I generally am not a fan of um, corner to corner. It's frankly, it's frankly annoying <laughs> is what it is. It's annoying. So if I were to do this one again, I would just do, um, what is it, three double crochets? Yeah, so each square is three double crochets and I would just do that instead. 
just you know chain and do three double crochets across because I don't like doing corner to corner it takes forever but this turned out so cute I need to go put this on my table because it's almost February and I want to actually, you know, enjoy it. So there's that. Um, turn the page. Next up is a blanket. Oh, actually next two. They're pretty well. Two. Okay. Um, this blanket is for my youngest child. Um, my middle and my youngest decided they wanted blankets, so we found a couple patterns so they could see what they wanted it to look like. They both decided on a checkerboard pattern. Um, so that's what we did. <laughs> they Once they picked their pattern, we went to Hobby Lobby. So I could pick, not I could pick, they could pick the colors they wanted. Now, I used acrylic yarn because I wanted this to be machine washable because children um so they picked the yarn um I started the blanket both of them well no okay so I did mitered squares of uh 56 stitches for these blankets and I sewed them together when I was done that was a lot a lot of squares um yeah so the kids picked out the two colors they wanted for their squares and then a border color um so the blanket for my youngest i started january 18th now remember this is a whole bunch of squares so this was my take along project for quite a while um I did not time how long this took me because it's a blanket, so it took forever. <laughs> yeah, like forever. Um, so January 18th, I finished it on June 8th. Um, so just your basic mitered squares. This one was knit. I did a size US 10 for the squares. Um, yeah, and then the border, I did a crochet border. I used the six millimeter crochet hook. Um, yeah, and then for my middle child, oh, I guess I need to show you the blanket, huh? That would be great. All right, so I'm not going to unfold the whole thing because it's a freaking blanket, but this is the one for my youngest. I thankfully talked him out of doing two variegated colors <laughs> for his squares. So he picked this one, which was Nevada Dusk. And this one is an aubergine. And then we just, he wanted black for the border. So I did uh, two rounds of a single crochet for both blankets. So this is for my youngest child. Um, they each have a twin bed and so it's slightly smaller than their twin bed. Um, works out great. After we, after I got enough squares made, we laid them out so we could figure out how big they wanted the blankets to be. And thankfully they wanted them the same size. So this one, that one, the red one's for my youngest. And please hold. Uh, the one for my middle child, I started January 29th and finished June 7th. Now remember, I'm doing these at the same time. Um, whenever I get sick of one color, I would pick up and do the next color. Um, so he, the colors that he picked were um, these ones. He picked Royal and Peacock. Yes, yes. And then the border, he wanted silver in it. So it's the peacock color with the strand of silver going in. Um, loves it. They love their blankets so much. And it's adorable. They sleep with them every night. And so I did the same 
for both blankets. I don't remember how many squares and I don't want to count them right now. Um, so knit the mitered squares, sew them together at the end um, with the decreases all facing the same direction and two rounds of single crochet on the border. Um, and then I did another Valentine's Day table runner, um, but that one was a commission. I started that January 19th, finished it on January 27th. Um, so I did the exact same thing that I did for mine. All right, um, I'm not gonna talk about the whips. That is a, why do I keep? <laughs> That's gonna be a different video. So we can skip that page. All right, now this next one, I cannot find it. It's in my kids' room somewhere. Um, this was a crochet amigurumi. This one is a hamster. It comes from this cute little pattern book. I've got three of these. Um, this Zoomy Gurumi is what it's called. Um, this is from book number seven. Now, I started this February 1st, and I didn't finish it until December 21st because I forgot Amazon was a thing. Yeah. Anyway, so let me get the Okay, so here's the book, okay? Um, I only have, what, three? What did I say? This is number seven. I think I have number two and number ten because they are adorable. Um, so this is the little hamster. His name is Hamish. Um, I still need to make the little strawberries, so I guess technically he's not done, but he's done, just not his accessories. It's fine. So the reason why it took me so long is I, I got to a, attaching the white cheek bits to his face and you need the nose to do that. Well, and it's it's a safety nose. I could not find a pink safety nose in the size I needed for the life of me. I looked at all the local craft stores, couldn't find one. It's like, oh, okay, well, when I find one, I'll finish it for you, buddy. I forgot Amazon was a thing and you could buy. <laughs> and you could get the safety noses on Amazon. I remembered around Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, found what I needed, ordered it, finished the hamster in time for Christmas. Um, same thing with what my middle child wanted. He also wanted a toy from this book. And he wanted this cute little zebra. Okay, his name is Xander the Zebra, and he needed special safety bits too, um, doll joints, because his arms and his legs move. So, because I didn't find what I needed for the hamster, I didn't start the zebra, because I couldn't find doll joints along with the stupid safety nose. Okay, so... Once I finally remembered Amazon um, at Thanksgiving. So I started the zebra. I need to finish his hair. <laughs> I was tired. Uh, I started the zebra December 21st and finished it on Christmas Eve. Well, except for his hair. It was 1130 at night. I had been up for three days making these things and I was tired and my fingers hurt and I just need to finish him. He's got his tail though. He's got a cute little tail. I just need to finish his hair and the strawberries and then they will officially be done, but whatever. All right. Um, oh, next one is a whip. Not talking to you about that. All right, this next one is from Expression Fiber Arts. This is a crochet sweater. I started this March 21st and finished it on April 8th. This pattern called to me once it was released. I, I was immediately drawn to it and I wanted it so much. Um, 
it was used with made used made with DK weight yarn um, I was going to time this one but I lost the time I was keeping track of because my phone decided to update itself and I lost my timer so I have no idea how long it took me like hours wise um, so I used one skein of the recommended yarn the dewy DK in the color teal appeal the rest of it I had single skeins of one I don't think they have anymore um, called tranquil DK um, in various wintry um, Christmassy themed colors and the sample is all one color but because I was using multiple colors I oh hi Puffy um, it has a striped effect and I love it it's um, I alternated colors every other row um, and I used the dewy decay from about the elbow point down to the cuff yeah. elbow to the cuff to the ribbing and the neckline and the dewy decay what I did the size small all right so here is my version of the Aylin sweater. I think I'm saying that right. Here's this this one. This dark blue is the recommended yarn, um, but I started that about here because I ran out of one of the of the last colors, so it starts there. Um, I was doing both sleeves at the same time so I would get the same amount of stripes for each color um, yeah so here's a picture of it on um, I haven't blocked it yet <laughs> I finished it in when in, did I tell you this already started March 21st finished it April 8th um, yeah I haven't blocked it <laughs> I need to do that. That will probably be a warm weather project because it's cold outside. It's January. Um, yeah. <sighs> Flying bits of yarn. Uh, yeah, so here is the Aylin sweater. I love it. It's so squishy. It's so squishy. Okay. Puppy. All right, next. Um... I did these for Easter. Um, my kids didn't know what I was making them, just that they had to pick a color. Um, now the interesting thing is, I used worsted weight for both of these, and one of them came out larger. Like same, same weight yarn, same needle size, <laughs> one's bigger. So the first one is this little guy. Okay, um, this is the Roly Poly Bunny from Knit Picks. I started this one March 30th, finished it April 6th. Um, I used yarn that is discontinued. It's from AC Moore. Um, I used, and the pink is just some red heart I had in my stash. Um, I decided not to put the pom pom tail on the on the back of it, and these went in. This went in an Easter basket. It's got cute little arms. Um, this is a variegated yarn, and so I think the the striping is interesting. He he wanted to use the black and white yarn, so I did. Um, the next was for my middle child. That was for my youngest. My middle child picked um, this Brava Tweed. From Knit Picks and the color Wren. See, isn't he cute? Um, again, red heart for the ears. I started this one April 6th. I finished it April 19th. Um, no pom pom tail either. So here's 
here's the size difference. It's both worsted weight yarn. Same needle size. This one's bigger. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think they're adorable. They love these little Easter bunnies. Again, it's the roly poly bunny pattern. It's from Knit Picks. Um, the next one was also another bunny. Um, but this one was for the daughter of um, the pottery teacher, one of the pottery teachers at the shop. Um, I did it in pink. Yeah, I didn't write down what yarn I used. I, I also used the Brava Tweed. Uh, yeah, I believe it was the rosy pink one, whatever the name of that one is. I started that one. Wait, what? That's not right. Not April 19th. I finished this one April 9th, not the 19th. What's wrong with me? Apparently I can't read my own handwriting. Um, so I finished the one for my friend's daughter. Started April 6th, finished it April 8th. That one I did give a pom-pom tail to. Um, she's, well, she's now 10 and she loves pink and purple. Okay, so these next ones, I could only find one because my kids are playing with them. This one's probably lost in their room somewhere. These are from Repeat Crafter Me. They are crochet flowers. And here's the sunflower. That's adorable. Um, so I did these, I made these like Mother's Day or for Mother's Day or something. Um, or maybe it was just for welcome spring. Um, so I did a sunflower, a daisy, and a tulip. I believe there's also a daffodil, but I didn't make the daffodil. I can only find the sunflower. <laughs> um, I didn't time myself. I started the sunflower April 28th, finished it on the 30th, I think because I needed green or something. I don't know. Um, but the daisy and the tulip, I started and finished on April 30th. Um, there is something I would do differently if I were to make these flowers again. There's, there's nothing wrong with the pattern. It's perfectly fine. But the stem, if you're laying the flowers down flat, it's just fine. It works out how it should. If you want to put it in a vase, it's, it's, it does that because the stem is crocheted around pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are not very strong. If I were to do these again, I would do dowels, thin little dowels and just like hot glue it in the top and then wrap the yarn around it. So that way it would actually stay. But these, these are so cute. I'm, I'm prim I might make some more this year, <laughs> give them friends or something. Oh, look, it's a, it's a puppy. Hi, puppy. Okay. Next is, hello, sunshine. Um, she's got a squeaky pickle toy. Okay. So my middle child loves Star Wars, like a lot. Um, so he is the reason that I bought the Star Wars knitting book from Tannis Gray. Um, so he wanted me to make the Darth Vader sweater that's in that book. And I did. And again, I used acrylic yarn because child and I want it to be washable. Um, so I started this June 9th, finished it July 3rd because I ran out of the black that I had and it is hard to match what? It is hard to match blacks. If you know, you know, because one will be it's like, oh, look, they are. No, they're not the same. So I had to, I had to get more, <laughs> I had to get more black yarn and color match it because yeah, black yarn guys. 
Okay, I did the size extra small because he's, well, at the time he was eight, but now he's nine. Um, so I did the Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn in black. Now, the other colors is just what I had in my stash. Um, I believe the red and the blue was Red Heart. I'm not sure about the gray, so... Here's the Darth Vader sweater. See that? And just long sleeve. It's the hem. Now he has worn this a lot this winter, so please excuse any pilling. And he's a puppy, so please excuse the dog hair. Um, oh, here's here's the bottom of the sweater. So the only bit that's stranded is the top here. I did have to rip it out and redo it once because um, my brain was dumb and decided to use the floats on the back side to make my increases. Yeah, it was puckering really, really bad. Uh, and I know better. I know better. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the control panel and the utility belt are done in duplicate stitch. So that took a little bit, but he was so happy with it. Could not wait for cold weather so he could wear it. It's adorable. Again, um, the Darth Vader pullover and the Star Wars knitting book by Tannis Gray, um, size extra small. Um, this is done in a worsted weight yarn. All right, next page was a gift because I had a friend who was having her first baby, so therefore I made baby things. So I don't have this one anymore, obviously. Um, if I have a picture of it, here's a picture of it. If I don't, here's the sample from the pattern. <laughs> Um, this is the Baby Bear Knit Hoodie. This is from Yarnspirations. I started this June 9th, nope, June 17th. I finished it June 20th. Um, I did the size six months. And it has buttons. And I, I love the hood with the little bear ears. Um, I used gray yarn that I had in my stash. I don't remember what it was. Um, yeah, so that's one of the things. <laughs> Squeaky pickle. All right. Now this next one has a bit of a story to it. Um, I have a really hard time getting my husband and my oldest to wear things that I make and to, you know, actually request something. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, so we finally got something that they will wear and it ended up being a beanie with our team logo for our mountain bike team on it. I used just basic worsted weight beanie pattern um, and graphed out our team logo. It took me about three tries to get it looking how I wanted it to. And there are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six logos going around the hat. Um, so the first one I made for my son, I started it June 18th, finished it June 19th. Hi, can I have the pickle? Um, I used Peyton's Canadiana in black and I used the white that I had in my stash, which was Lion Brand Pound of Love. Um, and this is the pattern. Pattern. This is the beanie. Okay, so. We'll... <laughs> anyway, okay, so here's our team logo. It's a C with the number four inside. Hi, um, because it's. I 
no, hi honey. You give me a minute, okay? Give me a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, team logo. Because our team name has alliteration with four C's, so therefore C4. Um, it is slightly slouchy because I added the stripes in it. Um, yeah, so I changed, yeah, um, so I made one for my husband and made one for my son. And then once our mountain bike season started in July, I shared it with the team. Um, And I made a whole bunch. So let's count, shall we? How many team beanies did I make, not including the two for my husband and son? Okay, now these were commissions for the team. Um, so I made one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> twelve. made 12 beanies for the team. I 14 if you include the two for my husband and son. Um, so like the first six I did with the, thank you, with the white stripes. Um, and then like the last six, I ended up doing hot pink stripe instead of white um, because our practice jerseys and our race kits have a hot pink stripe going down the side from the armpit down to the hip so we can know who our kids are when they're on the side of a mountain. Um, so I added that in, not added in, changed that from the white stripe to the hot pink stripe for the last six. And those, those were a big hit with, with the team. And then for... Um, our end of season team dinner, we do a coach's gift. And so I made one for our head coach, but his is different and I will not make another one like his. Um, I still kept the C4 and the stripes, except I did something different with the stripes. I did stripes within stripes. I did, I did barber pole stripes in the stripes with the, how many times can I say stripes with the hot pink and the white, um, I think I have a picture of it. Picture, if I have a picture of his hat. Um, yeah, so I made 12 of those, swe those sweaters, 12 of those beanies throughout the entire season. Um, it's a lot of beanies, guys. And it was all um, the Peyton's Canadiana in black with the Lion Brand Pound of Love and the white, because I had it. And the hot pink was um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, because that hot pink was the closest match I could find to the hot pink on our jerseys, race kits, all of those. Anyway, so I guess I, with, including with my husband and son and the one for our head coach, I made 15 of these beanies. And obviously I don't have them anymore because they're with the team. All right, next is a whip that we're not talking about right now. Next is, ooh, another baby gift. Okay, this one is knit also. Started this June 29th, finished it June 30th. Um, I used the Karen baby cakes in the color sky gazing. 
and I did the size six months. Now there is an error on the pattern. It says that you would need two balls of yarn, two skeins, whatever, to make this sweater. I didn't even use half of one, okay? Um, this is the top down knit pullover. It's from Yarnspirations. If I can find the pattern, I'll link it. Um, we'll see. Anyway, if I have, again, since I no longer have it because it was a baby gift, if I have a picture, here's the picture. If I don't have the picture, here's the sample from the pattern. If I can find the pattern. <laughs> anyway, it was adorable. It didn't take me long at all. I still have a full skein I haven't touched and like three quarters of the skein that I used to make this sweater. I think I'll make some more with it, but that would be a lot of baby sweaters. Um, and did I say size six months? I didn't say that. Next up, ooh, is, I was doing this for Christmas in July. Um, it's a stocking. It's a heavily cabled stocking. It's the Peyton's Sugar Twist Knit Stocking. I used yarn that I had Basically, everything is yarn that I had in my stash. I used yarn from AC Moore, which is, you know, no longer a store, so it's discontinued, in the color Deep Wine. It's a worsted weight pattern. Um, I didn't measure it to see if it came out to what the pattern says, like dimensions-wise, because I like to live dangerously and not do gauge swatches. Yeah, I should probably do those. Anyway, so I started this July 7th and finished it August 8th. Um, it's supposed to be made on DPNs, but there was no way I was going to do cables on DPNs. No. Um, so I did 16 inch circulars until I got to the heel and then I changed to Magic Luke. Um, yeah, so ugh. here's our cute little stocking. It's not exactly little. Here's our, my cute giant stocking. Let's see, cute toes. Love that pattern. Love the cables. The ribbing at the top. Um, I am thinking I want to make more of this pattern, more of these stockings. Um, just for decorations, not to actually, you know, like use for an actual stocking, like, you know, put stuff in it because then I would have to line it. I don't want to line it because if you put stuff in it with yarn, it'll just stretch out. So this will be a decorative stocking. I think I'll make more. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. All right. Turn the page. Next up. Ooh. You guys have seen this one. This was my Weasley sweater. All right, this is from the first Harry Potter Knitting Magic book by wonderful Tannis Gray. I made the size small. I started this July 18th, finished it August 1st. Um, I timed myself on this one, to see what I could do. Um, it, it took me 18 hours and 14 minutes total over that time. I used yarn no longer available. <laughs> I tend to do that. This is from AC Moore, um, the worsted weight tweed in forest green. And then for my letter, I did butternut. Um, this sweater is done in pieces. So back front um, sleeves. All right, so here's my Weasley sweater. You know, you, you've seen my video on this sweater. Um, the back took me four hours and 23 minutes to make. The front took me four hours. Um, the letter is done in duplicate stitch. That took me an hour and 26 minutes. Um, the sleeves, I did them two at a time until I got about halfway up and then I finished them individually. And they took me a total of six hours. Um, 
seaming the shoulders and making the neckband took me 24 minutes. Um, then seaming the sleeves and the sides took me about two hours and one minute. Um, yeah. So if I were to make this again, which, you know, I totally would, uh, sounded like somebody came home but it was just I don't know what it was <laughs> nobody's home um where was I oh yeah if I were to make this again which you know totally will because I'm a giant potterhead um I would make it more oversized for me personally um my gauge was on this was one of the two two times three times <laughs> That I've made a gauge swatch um, yeah so I will definitely make another Weasley sweater because I can and I want to next the last of the baby knits okay this is from and again I don't have this anymore this is the golden snitch baby blanket from the crochet Harry Potter book I started this August 3rd, finished it October 18th because I got tired of it. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's a bunch of single crochet and you know how long that, that, that takes forever. Um, so I used Karen one pound in soft gray and white. So soft gray for the blanket, white for the wings of the snitch. And then I used Karen simply soft gold for the golden snitch, obviously. Um, Again, since I don't have it anymore, if I have a picture, here's the picture. If I don't have a picture of it, here's the picture from the pattern. Yeah, so I had to make it because it was adorable and it took me a long time. And I was getting sick of it, but once you reach the halfway point, you're like, oh, good. And then you can finish it. <laughs> so I did. That's what took me so long. All right. Oh, and then, um, teen beanie, uh, teen beanie. Oh, okay. I did a video on this one. This was for, um, not for, this was from the first Harry Potter knitting book. It's the Hogwarts Express cowl. I started this August 21st, finished it August 31st. I used Knit Picks Brava Tweed in the colors Poinsettia and Elderberry. Okay. Um, there was an issue with the top of the cowl. The bottom is more tight than the top. The top tends top flares a bit um it was fun to make I had fun with this um it is stranded and I didn't want to mark up my book so I got a copy made so I could mark that up <laughs> for every row that I finished I crossed it off um so it's it's a train because it's the Hogwarts Express so train on the bridge just the long train Okay, um, and the clouds are duplicate stitch. They're not clouds. I did that last time too. They are not clouds. They are the spoke puffs because it's a steam train, coal power, whatever. The smoke puffs from the train, they're not freaking clouds. Um, so it's a cute cowl. It's just, as you can see, it, it's not shaped how it should be shaped. It's fine. We'll leave it that way. Um, I didn't time myself. I think I stopped timing myself after Weasley sweater. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was my, I only did two Harry Potter knits last year. Yeah. Next. Beanie. 
this one. Team Beanie. Team Beanie. Team Beanie. Team Beanie. 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 Okay, so from um from middle of August to um beginning of October, all I made was team beanies. So all of September, half of August, and October third. I made team beanies. Oh, no, sorry, October 4th. No, 6th. October 6th. Yeah. To October 6th, I was making team beanies. Um, so that occupied, occupied my entire time. Um, all right, so next one that is not a team beanie, I no longer have, but there's a video on it. It's the Mina Capelet from Expression Fiber Arts. I started this October 1st, finished it October 13th, and I used the suggested yarn, the Expression Fiber Arts Buttery Bulky in the colorway All About Autumn. This is a lovely, warm, squishy yarn, and I love the colorway because, you know, fall leaves. Um, my mom came to visit a little bit a little while ago um, when did I give it to her? Jan beginning of January? Beginning of January. Um, so I gave it to my mom. Um, here's a picture of it. Because I no longer have it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, she wanted something to cover the back of her neck. But not be a scarf or a cowl. She already had the cowl. I don't know. So I gave her the capelet and she loves it. Oh look, Team Beanie. Team Beanie. Okay, next up I also have a video on this one. I wanted something for Halloween. Um, so I made socks. These come from the Burt. Burt. Burt come from the book Charming Colorwork Socks um, by, uh, what's her name? Charlotte, by Charlotte Stone. You can find her on Instagram as Stone Knits. Love following her. Her cat gets up to shenanigans. Um, anyway, so I got that book for myself for Christmas 2022. Uh, so I first, my first pair of socks out of that book was the baddie for Halloween socks. Um, so I don't have sock blockers. Um, so you won't be able to, well, if I put up my hand, you might be able to see it. Anyway, here's the bats. Aren't they cute? And then it's contrasting uh, heels and toes. So I picked a yarn colorway that reminded me of sunsets. Um, I got it at one of my local yarn shops. Um, not including the one I occasionally teach at. I have three, like within 15 minutes of my house. Um, so I started these October 19th, finished it October 29th. And according to her sizes, I made the size one. Um, so the colorway I picked is a local to me dyer, yeah, local to me dyer, um, knitted niceties, don't remember the colorway name, the label's over in my box somewhere and I don't want to go find it, um, but I have, I have leftovers and I love these socks so much. I wore them for Halloween. <laughs> I love them. Um, I will make some more socks out of that book. I just haven't picked one yet. All right, turn the page. Ooh. I think this was my most favorite make of last year. Um, I used leftover yarn for this one. 
um, I started it on Halloween, October 31st, and I finished it November 11th, and I made the size medium. This is a DK weight pattern. Um, so I used leftovers of North DK from Expression Fiber Arts. I had a main color that I had full stains of that I hadn't used yet, and I think I still have some of that left. Um, and then all the other colors were leftovers from other things that that same yarn um, none of these colors are available anymore they have different ones now and they're so pretty anyway um, I made the stripe pipe sweater from Veronica Lindbergh this is one of three sweaters that I made in the month of November of 2023 so um, here's my stripe pipe sweater I have worn this so much. It's it's my favorite. <laughs> I love it. So the North DK is a um, merino wool and Pima cotton blend. It's I think 70-30. Um, and it's just so soft and so warm. So this dark gray was my main color. Um, the hardest bit was picking which colors to go that went where. I think there was one I didn't use. Um, I've worn it so much it's pilling. <laughs> I need to get one of those shaver things. Um, so I started with the purple stripes. Um, and then I did black. I ran out of black, so that is completely gone. And I finished off my last black stripe with the red and used up all the red and had to finish up my last red stripe with this cute like raspberry color. So I used the raspberry color as the pop of color on the hem and the cuff and the neckline. So that is according to pattern she did pops of color for those and I loved it so much. Um, the sleeves, I did blue for my first color and then I, this creamy white, which was left over from uh, the champagne cowl, the first project I made in the year. Um, yeah, I think I, I even still have some of that left too. Yeah. So I still have some of the purple, the blue, the light gray, I might have some of the dark gray, and I know I have some more of this raspberry color, so I just need another project that I can use up. This, oh, this is my favorite sweater so much. I love stripes. Stripes are my favorite. Um, if you haven't made this pattern yet, you should, because stripes, <laughs> it's adorable. Um, I haven't seen all the different colors that people have done because again, I don't like Ravelry, uh, but one, who, what's her name? Taylor from Wool Needles Hands. She did hers in a mustardy color and a cream. Hers looks amazing. So she's like the only other person that I know that did stripe eye. Anyway. So my stripe pipe, my favorite color. I did the size medium, favorite color, favorite sweater. I did size medium and it fits me perfectly. And it's, you know, perfectly boxy, slightly oversized how it should be. And I love it so much. So turn the page, next project. Next project is um, a beanie for the head coach. <laughs> uh, that took me a day. Well, two days. I started it halfway through day one and finished it day two. Anyway, next up is the Lumi sweater from Lion Brand. It was one of the ones I wanted to make for my fall knitting plans. Um, 
Yeah. Golden Eagle Pines. So I did this one. I started it November 14th, finished it November 27th, and I used the suggested yarn. The Lion Brand feels like butter in rainy day. If I were to make this one again, I would not use this yarn because I hate this yarn. I do not love this yarn. I hate this yarn. It's polyester and it sucks the moisture out of my hands. It's like um, the blanket yarn. I detest blanket yarn. Do not ask me to make anything in blanket yarn, okay? All right, so this sweater is knit inside out. Um, so the pearl side is actually the right side and the stock, the stockinette, the knit side is the wrong side. Um, so I was getting sick of the yarn. I didn't want to touch it anymore. So I cropped my sweater. Instead of making it full length to the hips, I cropped it to about my rib cage. Um, so I wanted it to go over dresses and I have worn it over dresses and over t-shirts when I need just a little extra layer. So it comes to about here. So I cropped the body of the sweater and the sleeves because again, I didn't want to touch the yarn anymore and I was getting sick of it. So the first touch is fine. It's soft, so good. I don't like working with it. Um, anyway, so here's the sweater. Beautiful lacy arrows. Um, cropped it and I shortened the sleeves. Um, so there's a picture of me wearing it. Uh, yeah, if I, I, I think I would make this again in a different yarn that doesn't drive me nuts. Love the color. The yarn drives me nuts. All right. <laughs> Remember how I said um, Stripe Pipe was my favorite sweater? Favorite thing that I made last year? I made another one in Christmas colors. <laughs> so this is, yeah, the third sweater that I made in November. I didn't technically finish it until like December 2nd, but it's close enough. I started it November 18th, finished it December 2nd. I made the size medium again, but this time I made, I used uh, worsted white yarn. So I knew it was gonna be boxy, way boxy and way oversized. I probably could have you know, made a size small because I was using worsted weight and it would have been fine, um, but I wanted it oversized. Um, so I, yeah, I did Christmas colors for this one. Are you ready for it? Boom. Yeah. So <laughs> I used Karen one pound for the white and the red um, for this multicolored one. Um, that is from Hobby Lobby. It's I Love This Yarn in the color Christmas. And the green, this green, this, this green, the bright green, is um, a bag of Millen's mystery green color that I got at AC Moore before the store closed. So I have no idea what the color is actually called, but I thought it went great with the rest of it. So that's what I did. Um, and then I used a sparkly Karen Simply Soft for the pop of color on the bottom hem. And then Karen Simply Soft Sparkly Red for the pop of color on the sleeves. And then I wanted more pops of color. So I used the Variegated Christmas around the collar. So here is a picture of me wearing it. And this is my Christmas sweater and I love it. My husband was wondering why did I make one when I can only wear it once a year? It's like, um, 
well, I can wear it from Thanksgiving to New Year's. So I don't think I wasted my time making a Christmas sweater. Um, oh, the next one was a commission for a Christmas present. Um, just basic beanie in a sky blue color. Um, I don't think I took a picture of it. I don't think I did. So let me show you what yarn I used. All right, so the yarn I used is the Peyton's Canadiana in the color Clearwater Blue. It's, apparently I'm hungry. Um, it's coming up a little weird on the screen, but it's, it's a sky blue color. Started it December 3rd, finished it December 4th. Again, it's just your basic worsted weight beanie. Um, next up was another commission. Um, this is the Snowfall Sweater Scarf from Knititude. Started it December 5th, finished it December 24th. Um, I used Lion Brand Woolies in the color Wheat and I made size B. Again, I don't think I took a color, I took a color of it. Wow, I'm hungry, I need food. Um, I took a picture of it. So here is what the pattern looks like. Um, it was adorable. There was at one point, I was sick of it because, you know, get sick of it. Um, so once I got halfway, it's like, all right, almost there. I can finish it. And then I started working on it again. Cause you know, it's like one of those projects where you're dreading working on it because it just takes so long, but you have to finish it. <sighs> you know what I mean? All right. Next up is another commission. <laughs> um, this is the crystal Crystal Trellis Beanie from Rosie Posey Knit Co. Um, started it December 10th, finished it December 14th. And again, I don't think I took a picture of it because I'm a dum-dum. <laughs> so here's what the pattern looks like. Sample is red. Um, she wanted it in um, beige main color with white snowflake things. Um, so I used... Plymouth yarn. Um, I got this from Webs. Um, I used the colors 9801 and 208. And she also wanted a white faux fur pom pom. Um, it turned out really, really cute. I was worried that the beige color that she wanted would be too close to the white and there wouldn't be enough contrast, but it turned out great. Um, next up, gotta move, gotta move those socks so I can show you the next socks. <laughs> next up is plain vanilla socks from Crazy Sock Lady. And uh, I love these so much. I want to make a matching pair in opposite colors. <laughs> um, so plain vanilla socks on Magic Loop. I started these December 13th, finished them December 26th. They are my Christmas socks. Um, I made the size, according to her pattern, I made the size small. Um, I got the yarn at one of my, one of the local yarn shops, 10 minutes from my house. Um, the main color, both of the colors actually, are from Knitted Niceties. Um, in the, the Nomad sock, I think this one was mislabeled because it doesn't seem right. Um, Walk Through the Wildflowers and Marigold. That color doesn't seem right because it's green. It's a green sock. It doesn't seem like a marigold color. And the contrasting heels and toes were... Also the Nomad Sock Base in the color Ladybug Lair. So, basic Christmas socks. I don't have sock blockers, so you just have to deal with it. <laughs> um, Christmas socks. Because I could. 
and I want to make more special socks. Red ones with green heels and toes? I think we can. I just need more red. That's no problem though. Um, oh, that one's a whip we're not going to talk about. And then the last one is the zebra. The zebra is the last, oh, I put it away. Zebra is the last thing I made in 2023. Um, yeah. Next is the page for 2024. So I'm, instead of buying a new binder for the new year, binder, this isn't a binder, it's a notebook. Instead of buying a new notebook for the new year, I'm just finishing it up and then yeah, so I've, I've already got some things in here. Only one thing in here is for 2024. No, two things. Only two things in the 2024 section are personal. The others are commissions. So we get to talk about that later. All right, so yeah. Um, oh wait, things I didn't write down. I'll tell you about the things I didn't write down. So I made a poppy um, for a friend for Veterans Day or Remembrance Day, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, sent that off to her. I used a fingering weight cotton yarn. Um, I don't remember what the pattern was. It's just a poppy for Veterans Day. I sent that off. Um, oh, and then for the mountain biking team dinner. I made something for coach's daughter, youngest daughter. Um, just basic headband ear warmer thing in a teal color. Um, so I did a worsted weight teal held together with like a bulky fuzzy fake mohair thing. It's just a breast, um, a breast worsted weight to, that ends up being a bulky gauge or something anyway so I held those together I made her headband ear warmer um, and then I didn't write down the ornaments that I did um, I did a Christmas tree the snowflake a candy cane and a sweater I did a video on those um, so I didn't write those four down and then for the class that I taught last year for church it was the fifth and sixth grade girls. I made each one of them a Christmas tree ornament in their favorite colors. And I didn't write those down either. So I did those two. Um, I don't think there was anything else I forgot to write down. Yeah, just those. So, um, time to clean up this mess at my feet of, you know, my knitted stuff. And my crocheted stuff <laughs> and go find food because I'm hungry and then go watch something and knit some more because I'm never not knitting. Oh, want to see my shirt? Um, it says I knit because punching people is frowned upon. So we're going to leave it at that. <laughs>